This video is a quick, high-level introduction to what automatic differentiation is. Automatic differentiation goes by many names. It's also known as autodiff for short. Okay, that one's easy to see from the full name. But it's also known as autograd because it's heavily involved in calculating gradients in machine learning. And we will talk about that a lot momentarily in this video series. We can also call it computational differentiation or reverse mode differentiation or algorithmic differentiation. And it's distinct from classical methods of differentiation like numerical differentiation, which is something like the delta method that we did earlier on in this calculus subject. Uh, the problem with trying to use the numerical method in a computational system is that it introduces rounding errors. And automatic differentiation is also distinct from symbolic differentiation, which is like using the algebraic rules that were the focus of segment two in this calculus one subject. And this is computationally inefficient. So trying to code up all those rules and applying them gets, uh, yeah, very inefficient, especially as we get to increasingly complex algorithms, lots of nested functions. So it would work. You could write a program to do symbolic differentiation if it's very simple functions that you're differentiating. But as soon as we get to the real world examples of say machine learning, yeah, it's just not gonna work out for you. And relative to classical methods, automatic differentiation better handles functions with many inputs, which are common in machine learning as well as higher order derivatives. At a high level, the way that automatic differentiation works is by applying the chain rule, and it's typically the partial derivative chain rule. So we're going to get into partial derivatives coming up in the next subject, Calculus 2, which focuses on partial derivatives. But for now, uh, we don't need to worry about them. We're going to ignore this little bit of extra complexity for now so that I can get you excited about getting started with automatic differentiation. And so it suffices to say for now that it's an application of the chain rule to a sequence of arithmetic operations, a forward pass of arithmetic operations. So I have here down at the bottom an equation that we already learned in segment two where we focused on the chain rule a couple of times. And so this equation of the chain rule shows how if we have a forward pass of equations where x allows us to compute u and u allows us to compute y, so we have this chain of two functions, from that we can use the chain rule to multiply the derivatives of the two functions separately and obtain the derivative of y with respect to x. So there's a quick refresh of the chain rule. And whereas the chain rule, when we used it by hand in segment two, we typically began at the most nested function, the innermost function, whereas autodiff typically proceeds from the outermost function inward, or always actually, not typically, it always proceeds from the outermost function inward. And this is why it's sometimes called reverse mode differentiation. And automatic differentiation is a really computationally convenient approach. It has only a small constant factor more computational complexity than the forward pass itself. So if the forward pass allows us to go from x to u and then from u to y in that chain of two functions, then this automatic differentiation backwards from y through to x that allows us to calculate the derivative of y with respect to x is only a tiny constant amount more computationally expensive relative to the forward pass itself, the initial forward pass. So that gives you a sense of what automatic differentiation is at a high level. And I bet you're excited to apply autodiff in code. I am too. And so up next, we'll see Autodiff in action in both PyTorch and TensorFlow.